What we've got here is failure to communicate. I think one of the breakthrough ideas is to change the concept of the learner into someone who becomes a contributor by doing their work, which means we have to redefine the work. That represents a shift of control. It was the most awesome moment of revelation that when you ask kids to use their own voice and ask them to speak for themselves, what they're willing to share. And I like this analogy. It shouldn't just be a teacher at the head of the classroom telling students, do this, do that. The students should teach their teachers. Learning between grown-ups and kids should be reciprocal. Kids doing it because it matters. What happens at school is real life, not preparation for real life. Neil Postman said that certain technologies are not additive, they are transformative. That is the way that computers should be in our school. That's the way technology should be in our school. And technology needs to be like oxygen. Ubiquitous, necessary, and invisible. It was hard. As a teacher, I think sometimes we say that technology is going to make teaching easier. It's not. It's going to make it different. It was the greatest teaching experience of my life. I saw what I wanted for my kids, what I want for all kids. Real world learning supported by technology, but it was not about the technology at all. We have to find ways to support that teaching and learning with the effective use of technology. Or you use different language, how does technology support effective pedagogy is really what we should be looking at. We've got schools all around the world that are looking at new models of learning. All these schools that are trying new ideas are all doing it for one reason, things got better. We want to see technology not as a way of delivering information, but as a tool that lets kids create and explore and experiment. <laughs> Creating a space where you can have your ideas, pursue them, and encourage others to do the same.